all right guys wes here welcome back to the channel today we have some more incredible news to talk about for hogwarts legacy as you know the game's official launch is a month away and with the pre-order numbers going crazy and the hype train louder than ever i'm super excited to get my hands on it and experience this magical world that avalanche software have created now with the game coming up very soon it's likely that there will be another gameplay showcase but in addition to that we actually got a bunch of new information recently from the wizarding world website which updated its faq page with some awesome new intel along with that we've got some new never before seen gameplay for hogwarts legacy that has just been released we also just got some major casting announcement news for hogwarts legacy that confirmed that phineas nigel's black the headmaster at hogwarts will be played by none other than the legendary simon Pegg. now we also got some news for other voice actors confirmed so we're going to talk about all of the actors as well as their respective roles in this game as well as give you guys some details regarding phineas nigel's black that you do not want to miss so in this video we're going to go over all of the new information that has been revealed about the game in the last week or so and we'll also discuss the possibility of a gameplay showcase coming up in the next couple of weeks as a way for the marketing campaign to kind of cross the finish line so definitely stick around until the end of the video for those details and be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for future updates like this one also guys we are inching very close to 90,000 subscribers so don't forget to enter i'm giving away a playstation 5 and a copy of hogwarts legacy or a game of your choice and i will have the full details later on in the video so first and foremost let's get to the biggest news of the day and that is the confirmation that simon Pegg has officially joined hogwarts legacy as the headmaster phineas nigelis black hogwarts legacy's twitter account posted join simon Pegg as he dives deeper into the world of hogwarts legacy and shares what it was like playing the headmaster phineas nigelis black we also got a character card revealed for him so we're going to talk about those details right now so the card states this and i quote phineas nigelis black who to this day remains the least popular headmaster that hogwarts has ever known he makes little effort to hide the utter disdain that he has for his students he is cantankerous lazy vain pure blood with a myopic view of the world and a condescending unjustifiably superior attitude wildly ill-suited to his job his goal is to do the least amount of work possible and avoid exposure to the student body preferring to focus on his status in the wizarding world and his surgically manicured beard i always thought that simon Pegg would fit perfect for the wizarding world and i'm so glad that he's going to be playing Phineas nigelis black which is why he will likely be one of my favorite characters in this game now along with that we got some more casting announcements for hogwarts legacy sebastian croft as one of the playable characters amelia gethin as another playable character leslie nicole as professor matilda weasley candace kane as professor onai Sam capilla as professor satvayati shah i hope i pronounced that right next up we've got luke youngblood as everett clopton asif ali as marinda Pelawan. once again pronunciation is probably bad jason anthony as nearly headless nick and the sorting hat and then of course course the legendary narrator Jim Dale who is the narrator for the Hogwarts Legacy promotional trailers now as you may have heard Hogwarts Legacy's pre-order numbers are phenomenal way higher than I think all of us were even expecting them to be even though we knew it was going to be big but given how much controversy there seems to be surrounding the game's development and launch Hogwarts Legacy has already spent a decent amount of time at the number one spot on Steam's top seller page which is ridiculous when you consider that this game isn't even out yet industry insiders have also suggested that console pre-order numbers are through the roof and if all of these numbers are accurate hogwarts legacy will be the biggest game launch of the year by a landslide but granted it's still early in the year but you know what i mean the fact that this many people are pre-ordering the game already this far in advance is an indication of an absolutely massive launch so let's just hope the game is ready for it now in addition to the people pre-ordering the hogwarts legacy steam page has been getting tons of traffic unfortunately from hate raids and mobs of people trying to keep people from buying it apparently a bunch of people hopped on steam and tried to spam the hogwarts legacy store page with in accurate tags with the goal of preventing it from appearing in the search results it's also 100 guaranteed at this point that the hogwarts legacy store page is going to be review bombed on launch day by people upset at the comments that were made by the ip's creator i know a lot of people have a take on this i personally don't want to get into the topic on this video but just expect things to get a bit spicy leading up to the launch now with the game launching in a month it seems more and more likely that there will be a third and final gameplay showcase along with the launch trailer major games like this often show off a ton of new stuff right before the game goes live to maximize the hype that they've generated from previous marketing efforts and give some of the people that are currently on the fence on whether or not they should buy Hogwarts Legacy or not give them one final reason why they should go out and buy it and spend money and time to play this game large-scale games like this are a tough market due to the fact that the games are usually pretty massive so not only are you demanding a lot of the players time but you're also walking a fine line between revealing too much and too little of the side content which can make the game feel bigger or smaller than intended if done wrong marketing brand 
new games like this is really tough that's why big gameplay drops like we saw with the previous two gameplay showcases is the best method and they've already been wildly successful for hogwarts legacy which is why i am fully confident that there will be at least one more gameplay showcase it's also possible that there's going to be some kind of creator capture event obviously from the last two gameplay showcases those had content creators in them so i've got a feeling that they will likely do that same thing leading up to the release of the game now i was not personally invited to anything this is just my personal speculation but the gaming world and the online marketing world are so connected that it's really important to make sure that everyone is hyped as possible on the game's launch day and if that means letting people see it and play it early for positive word of mouth i think that's personally great not only does it let the consumer see the product before committing to a purchase but it also shows that warner bros is so confident in their final product they want as many people to see the game and as much of it as possible that doesn't spoil anything before the game goes live so i am personally hoping we get some kind of third gameplay showcase in the next couple of weeks particularly in the form of raw gameplay moving on let's talk about the new gameplay that we actually did get the hogwarts legacy twitter account recently dropped some new little gameplay snippets that show off some awesome spells in action the twitter account also showed off new potions and crafting potions first off we've got the Eduras potion which seems to be a defensive buff there is also going to be the wigan weld potion for restoring the player's health there's also a brand new gameplay clip for incendio which looks so freaking awesome i'm not gonna lie i don't want to give people flashbacks to ness in smash 4 but i think a lot of people are going to be spamming pk fire with me whenever we can and then just yesterday the hogwarts legacy twitter account showed off even more gameplay that we have never seen before the video was centered around the accio spell now in the first clip it shows the player in the library pulling a book to them with accio which i've just got to say right now the library looks absolutely amazing i cannot wait to break into the restricted section that's probably going to be one of the first things that i do in the library the next clip we see a player from inside of a mine but the most important part of this clip is the actual icons on the bottom right now these icons are actually completely different from the ps5 buttons which tells me that this gameplay is on a ps4 or at the very least it is on the ps4 controller it might be on pc and then for the last clip the player is using accio to summon a poacher stalker up closer to them which will make it a lot easier to perform combo spells to take down the poacher stalker now the highlight of this clip is the section for dueling feats the feats are as followed slice a poacher duelist while they're casting reducto slow a poacher executioner after they release their blast attack and launch an enemy into a destructible object with depulso now moving on for those of you that missed it in the last gameplay showcase we saw the player character turn somebody into a chicken during combat so we know that transfiguration is confirmed in this game at least to some degree which has many fans speculating and wondering whether or not we will see a transfiguration classroom for those of you that are unfamiliar transfiguration is a family of magical spells in the harry potter universe that can turn objects into other objects and it seems like a pretty awesome addition to a game like hogwarts legacy unfortunately there hasn't been much clarity on whether or not there will be enough spells to warrant a full class now we do know at least one transfiguration spell was shown off in the last gameplay showcase like i said but with the recent update to the website's faq page one of the questions was regarding what kind of spells will be learned at hogwarts academy and while transfiguration was not explicitly mentioned some on twitter and reddit have theorized that the door is left open for it according to the website in response to one of the questions about classes it states many lessons you know and love from the harry potter stories will be available to master in hogwarts legacy such as potions charms defense against the dark arts herbology history of magic and beyond which kind of leaves the door open for more things to be in the final build of the game i mean the phrase and beyond makes it pretty clear that the list wasn't complete so now all that really needs to be confirmed is whether or not transfiguration class will play into that now we did get some unfortunate news about a highly anticipated gameplay feature that will sadly not be in the launch build of the game and it doesn't seem like it will be added post-launch either or at least there doesn't seem to be any plan to add them post-launch since we haven't heard anything about it in a recent tweet from the official hogwarts legacy twitter account it was confirmed that you can connect your wizarding world house and wand to the game we obviously learned that a long time ago but it doesn't say anything about your patronus charm and since we haven't heard anything about the patronus in the marketing yet it's really starting to look like this feature won't be in the game at all it's possible you'll get a patronus at some point in the story but as far as importing your existing personal patronus in the game that's likely not going to happen which is a bit of a shame for the sake of the fandom but from the developer's perspective i guess it makes sense to not prioritize a feature like this i hope they'll reconsider because i know a lot of people are going to be role playing as their wizarding world character in hogwarts legacy so it would be awesome to have your own personal patronus in the game along with the other features that will sync up like your house and your wand it's possible that these will be added post launch but with the lack of information we have on it i really wouldn't bet on it appearing at any point next up we have some news regarding the story of hogwarts legacy and in case you were unaware we've been told from the very beginning that the plot of hogwarts legacy is going to heavily revolve around the goblin rebellion but it's sounding like that might 
could not be the case. According to recent interviews and promotional material, it's looking like the Goblin Rebellion is actually going to be a subplot of the game and not actually the main conflict of the story. In fact, the Hogwarts Legacy FAQ page explicitly called the Goblin Rebellion a subplot of the game. Now, there is the possibility that they decided to lean less on the Goblin Rebellion due to avoiding potential conflict among the more outspoken individuals against Hogwarts Legacy. But this also could showcase how large the game actually is. Some people on Reddit have also theorized that the Goblin Rebellion stuff in the promotional material could have just been a misdirection to keep the really juicy stuff under wraps, which would honestly make total sense. Hogwarts Legacy is a freaking huge game, and I seriously doubt that the Goblin Rebellion will be where most of the really interesting stuff is going to happen. It's likely that the Goblin Rebellion was the easiest of the plots to put in the trailers, which would make total sense thanks to the cool combat shots that it gave us. It's also totally possible that the marketing was always going to focus on certain subplots and slowly reveal more as the release date gets closer. So naturally, we wouldn't know much about the overarching conflict just yet. The point I'm getting at is there are plenty of reasonable explanations as to why the Goblin Rebellion is now being treated like a subplot to the overall game. But with the game only a month away, it shouldn't be too long before we have a definitive answer. Hogwarts Legacy is coming out February 10th and even earlier with the early access period. By the time this video goes up, we will hopefully get some kind of confirmation about a third gameplay showcase or some type of showcase. Maybe PlayStation has one of those PS5 showcases planned that has been highly rumored for the last six months. A ton of new information is coming out very quickly leading up to the launch and the marketing campaign is likely going to get very in your face within the next couple of weeks. So be sure to prepare for that. Assuming all of the pre-order numbers keep going at the pace they are, this may end up being the biggest launch of 2023, possibly even bigger than the Spider-Man 2 launch since this game is multi-platform and Spider-Man 2 is locked to the PS5. But yeah, guys, that is going to wrap it up with this video. Let me know what your thoughts are on it. Do you think we're going to get a gameplay showcase this month? Let me know in the comment section below, like the video, and don't forget to enter the 90,000 subscriber giveaway that we are getting very close to completing only 2,000 subs more. So guys, I'm giving away a PS5 and a game of your choice to enter. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, comment your Twitter handle, follow me on Twitter, and send me proof that you're following to my Twitter or my Discord. I'll also be doing a bonus entry if you follow my Twitch and join my Discord. All of the links are in the description or the pinned comment, and the winner will be announced at 90,000 subscribers. Thank you all for watching. This has been Wes, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.